What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we are configuring a basic VLAN scenario on PFSense 2.4.5 running on VMware Workstation Player 15 using a Netgear GS72040 managed gigabit network switch. So let's get started. So you guys might be asking the question, what is a VLAN? A VLAN stands for Virtual LAN. It's a collection of devices or network nodes that communicate with each other as if they are made up of a single LAN, when in reality they exist in one or several LAN segments. In a technical sense, a segment is separated from the rest of the LAN by a bridge, router, or switch. So why VLANs? Why even bother in the first place? Well, VLANs are useful when you need to apply firewall rules to devices in a LAN segment. For example, you have a wireless network, but you don't want the devices connected to that network to be able to access another server on another segment. Or you have servers that need to be accessed from the internet, but you don't want to route that traffic to your main network. For our basic setup, it's composed of PSNs 2.4.5 running on VMware Workstation Player 15 and a Netgear GS72040 managed gigabit network switch. For our setup, we are configuring five VLAN segments, which are LAN, wireless network, DC or data center for servers, DMC or demilitarized zone, MGT for management network. Here on this table, we have the basic network LAN segments and its corresponding VLAN ID. This information is useful when we are configuring our managed switch. The next configuration in this puzzle is what port to use on a given VLAN. I have created a grid in which I assign ports to a specific VLAN. We are going to use this information to configure port to VLAN option on our switch. So I say enough talking, let's configure that switch. Right guys, here we are at the Netgear web configurator using the default IP address and password. On the main page, we head over to the switch tab on the main menu and click on VLAN. The VLAN configuration page appears and we can start creating our VLANs using the table we created earlier. We start by entering our wireless LAN and our VLAN ID number four. VLAN ID number five is DC or data center VLAN ID 6 for DMC or demilitarized zone. And finally, MGT for management network. After we are done creating our VLANs, the next step is to set what port is TAC or UNTAC for a specific VLAN. The purpose of a TAC or trunk port is to pass traffic from multiple VLANs, whereas UNTAC or access port accepts traffic for only a single VLAN. Generally speaking, trunk ports will link switches and access ports will link the end devices. Okay, so we are now configuring VLAN number 5, data center. Port number 1 is TAC or trunk. Port 11, 12, 13, and 14 are on TAC ports. This is where I'm going to connect the servers. VLAN number 6. Port number 1 is trunk or TAC. Port number 15, on TAC. 16 on tag. Alright, and we continue on with VLAN number 7. Management Network VLAN. Port number 1 is tag. Port 17 and 18 on tag. And we are done. 
After we are done tagging ports, the next step is to assign the port to a VLAN ID. Okay guys, we are done setting our VLANs and assign specific ports to them. Now we can head over to PFSense and Duration. Let's assume you have PFSense running on your home lab or existing network. If not, then you guys can watch my video on how to install PFSense on VMware Workstation Player or VMware ESXi 6.5. On the main menu, we click on Interface and choose Assignment. On Assignment, we choose VLAN tab and we are prompted with the VLAN configuration page. We choose our interface which is connected to our switch. It's going to be LAN and the VLAN ID, uh, oops, the VLAN ID is number one. Choose again, our port, VLAN tag number four, that is our wireless LAN, click save. We add another one. VLAN ID number five as data center or DC. Click add again. VLAN ID number six as the DMC. Click add again. And number seven, that will be our management network. Click save. And we are done setting up our VLANs. Now the next step is to set the VLANs as interfaces on PFSense. Choose LAN. wireless network and we configure it description WLAN we name our interface and the IP configuration is version 4 max 24 and our IP address click save apply changes we go back to our interface assignment and we do the same for data center Naval interface, our description, data center, DC, IP version 4, enter our, our IP address, and mask 24. Apply changes. We're doing DM, DMZ now, or Demilitarized Zone. Mm -hmm. 
IP version 4, enable interface, we type our IP address. Max 24. Now we head over to the management network, click add. Enable interface, description, MGT for management network, IP version 4, and we type in the IP address. Mask 24. Click save. Now we are done setting up our interfaces, the next step is to set the fiber rules. These rules are important in order for you to get internet access and be able to route traffic between VLANs. You can take our default uh, rule that we have on our LAN network and all we have to do is just duplicate it and change the settings to match our wireless network in this case. Click save changes. We do the same for DC now or data center. And again for, for the uh, demilitarized zone, Click save and finally we do the same for the management network. And we'll click save. Now we can apply the changes. For our basic setup, all we need is just the simple fiber rules to route the traffic, but you can go a little bit further and you can actually block traffic from, for example, your wireless network to your DMC or your data center and so on. So for this basic setup, very simple, just to route traffic and whatever, we, whatever device we plug into that network or VLAN, uh, it has internet access and it's, it's, and it's able to see the other devices on the other network. And we are done setting up the VLANs. Now we double check our settings, go back to the firewall rules page, and we check that we have all the firewall rules configured properly. Okay, so here we are on PFSense 2.4.5 main page and we're gonna see that we have all our interfaces up this is because it's connected to the switch and the switch is reporting that the link is up so you can see there all our VLANs and its corresponding IP address well guys this is it I hope you like this video if you like this video and have any questions please leave them in the comments below please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for future videos Everything I use is in the description down below. Thank you for watching and happy networking.